What's going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 30 second iPhone development tutorial. And in this tutorial, well before I even talk to you guys about that, I just want to let you know that I haven't created a tutorial in like a week so I might forget a few things and if I do, don't leave me hate comments. Unless you know you absolutely need to then go ahead and leave me some hate comments. But anyways, stick with me and uh, maybe you'll learn something. So the first thing we need to do is synthesize our outlets which is single pecker and we also need to synthesize with an at sign that's a little better see I'm messing up already synthesize picker array so the single picker is pretty much the picker itself and the picker array is pretty much the array we're creating a picker from so in case you forgot what we're going to be doing is um, taking an array and creating a picker from it so a picker our picker is pretty much going to be a visual representation of the array so we'll be doing that later but anyways the first thing we need to do is implement this method so go ahead copy that and paste it right at the top and this is what happens whenever you press that button and all we want to do is whatever thing you selected in the picker we just want to send out an alert or something anything really so here's how pickers work we automatically uh, had one a date one from last time but you know we don't really have any automatic thing to make it so we gotta make it ourselves. so the individual wheels in the picker we're only gonna have one let this time but they're not called wheels like I've been calling them the term they're actually called is components so each wheel is called a component and we only have one in this tutorial so we're gonna index it at zero so our component is zero and aside from wheels we also have a bunch of different rows in each thing in your component like each name in this case is called a row so in order to get something from a picker you just got to say what component or what wheel it's at and what row it's at so this is pretty much the co coordinates for a picker so ns integer um, let's go ahead and see what row do we want to get we pretty much are selecting our item first so in our single picker I mean because you only have one picker on the screen selected row and component zero so this means in our wheel zero it's the only row we have get whatever row they select so this will return the selected row so if it's the third item in the row it's going to return two because it starts to zero zero one two that's the third if it's the fifth item you select it's going to return four is your integer so that's pretty much how you get the selected row now what we want to do is take whatever object is at that row which is pretty much a name of something and store it in a string variable so ns string and just like put choice because this is what going to be what they choose and remember our picker is pretty much a, a visual representation of an array so if you pick the fifth um, object in a row or excuse me in a component is going to be the fifth object in our array since they're one and the same so let's just go ahead and for, for, our, for a picker array object at index row so if in this wheel you pick the object at row six it's going to be the sixth element in our picker array and we're pretty much um, getting that element and storing it in a string variable called choice easy enough so after we have the element whatever we picked what we want to do is we just want to put a basic alert on the screen UI alert view just name it alert as always and just go ahead and set it equal to UI alert view allocate some space with it and initiate with title and just hit tab and this just go ahead and put like T for title and the message I mean you can put this in the title or the message doesn't matter it's just an example but you're gonna output whatever choice they made so that choice object right there now for the delegate go ahead and press nil the cancel button go ahead and press like cancel that's a little better and other button titles go ahead and write nil um, that's just housekeeping stuff so what we did so far is we say all right what wheel do you want to be working with and now that we have a wheel we say alright whatever item they picked find the corresponding item in the array which we didn't create yet but we will it takes like two seconds and get that object and get its string unless you're working with numbers then you would want to do something else but we're not so alright so now we alerted it and we got a 
alert show and course alert release hey how re really really gonna autofill in the wrong stuff for me that's cool all right release so remember anything you allocate um, you need to release so that's why we did that so we're done with this method all this method does is that so the next thing we want to do is actually create the array but where do you create it well let's go ahead and create it in view did load so this pretty much get happen this pretty much happens right at the beginning after your view is loaded so when we create this array right after the view is loaded then by the time they can choose anything and press the button it's already going to create the array form so ns array um, name your array anything I'm going to name on x because I don't have time to type any more letters in one and go ahead and ns array allocate some space for it and in it with objects and go ahead and uh, put like tuna spelled wrong fish apples uh, more tuna and like pumpkins spelled totally wrong and remember the last thing in your array always has to be nil so now we have pretty much an array of a bunch of strings so now what we want to do is take our array variable right here and set it equal to x so then they'll be one and the same so self dot picker array which is pretty much our main variable that we're using for your array equals x so now whenever we use this we're going to be able to use this all over a program since it's a global variable and we won't be able to use x so that's why we need to store this in here so now that we are done with x it's did its job um, you see we allocated it so therefore we need to release it so let's go ahead and put x release so that's actually all the time I have in this tutorial but in the next tutorial we're going to be actually building the picker right from code and it's probably the most important tutorial yet so make sure that you learn all this again it's really simple right in here what we're doing is whatever item we selected in the first wheel we're storing it as an integer to index that choice and then we're saying alright take that integer and find the corresponding element in your array easy enough so then we pretty much just say whatever you selected uh, spit it out on an alert box and here is where we create the actual array uh, again you should know how to create an array and pretty much take that array and store it in another array that we made earlier and then once we're done with it release it so I mean this all looks pretty good and uh yeah so actually let me do this while I am view did unload what we want to do is self no not that what we want to do is self dot us uh, single pecker set this equal to nil set end of your outlets equal to nil so self dot picker array set this equal to nil too and you also um, on your void deallocate you also want to give back all your memory so we also had really release that so pretty much any outlets you have to set the nil and release them to I know it's confusing but picker array and this uh, doesn't have anything to do with the program itself just memory for your uh, iPod so it just helps those are two simple rules we'll be going over memory management in another tutorial but just don't forget to do that so uh, that's that for this tutorial please watch the next tutorial I'll teach you a whole bunch and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe <laughs>